Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 4 of 3 tier architecture C sharp windows tutorial. So in the last video we created our login form. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description, this is important. So you can simply follow this video without any complication. In this video I will show you how to create a admin user login system. If you skip the last video, download the project file, extract the zip file and open the project file. Now let's get started. In order to manage two type of users we need to add a user type column in our employee table. Open our table definition. Add our user type column. Save table. Now open table data. And add new record for our admin. And add user type as A. Click execute SQL. Now our admin record is added. So next we need a MDI form for our admin. Create a new MDI. Set MDI property to true. Then open login.cs. We need to tweak our login code for multi-user feature. Here the data table stores the data of the user who successfully logged in. In this case there is only one row in the data table. So store the user type column value to a string variable. So create a new string variable u type. And you can see our user type value is in 8th position in table. Assign the value to the u type. Then check, if the user type is A then open the admin MDI. Else open the user MDI. Also trim the user type string value to remove the white spaces, if any. Otherwise it will not work. Now run the project. Type the username and password of admin. Now it successfully logged into admin MDI. Then again logged in with a user credential. It opens the user MDI. So we successfully created our admin user login system. But if we run our employee registration form, we will get this mismatch error. This is because we added an extra column. To resolve this issue, open our operation class. In our insert employee operation, add user type value manually. Because this form usually uses only the end user. Now run the project. Now it successfully saved our data. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you, see you in the next episode.